how are you? I'm all right. How are yeah, you? I'm good. I'm good since the last time. It was 2017. That was wicked. Yeah, we went for dinner. You didn't even offer me a prawn. Do you remember that? Is yeah. It? yeah. Didn't I? No. That doesn't sound like me. I'm, quite... I know, I'm only joking. Okay, okay, I'm only there joking. We go. I didn't, I didn't want to take you any still, of your food. I did offer those. Of course. Didn't I? Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here to talk about your brand new album, Heavy as the Head. Yes. Congratulations Thank on it. Thank you very much. 16 tracks. Yes. You produced them all. Um, Are you a perfectionist? I, I had, I didn't, I, I, I cannot produce at all. I don't, I. I, I actually, where's Arpel? Is Arpel in here? He actually taught me, um, he actually, I actually learned, I, my musical production, actual knowledge and vocabulary. So for years, I didn't even know what a kick and a snare was. Yeah. Like, as in, the, all that low end and hype, like, so I'm, I was learning all these things. So I didn't actually produce, but I, uh, there's a lot of tracks I co-produced. So and you know by the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I had, a very, very, very. I, ex I executively produced the whole thing, so yeah. I guess I did. Pro I guess I did produce it, I, but I just didn't actually do the. Yeah, the, bu yeah, the buttons. Yeah, no, didn't no, do the, the buttons. buttons. No, no, not at all. Um, like heavy as the head is the name of it, but also heavy are the arms with all of the awards that you must be carrying around with you. What's it? Twenty five plus now? Is it the, all these awards that you have? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. There's a lot. It's, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I don't. There's yeah. There's more than that, but th that's. Uh, is there more than that? Yeah, but you I'll can't. Say really over twenty five. Yeah, there's yeah there's there's. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Thank God, thank God. I thought it's a super blessing, but there's a yeah, there's a lot. I've been blessed. Like, thank, I always say, thank God, because it's not. You, art, there's artists who have, there's artists who have the most legendary, iconic, incredible careers who don't always get the the flipping. Do you know what I mean? As in, you know, like when you see the list of artists who haven't won a Grammy, mm. and it's like what? Yeah. Bob Marley, Nas. Do you know what I mean? Like all these yeah. legends. So like, it's it's just a blessing. I'm, I'm, it's a blessing from God where I'm able to. Do you know what I mean? Have these trophies or whatever that that kind of show my progress. So yeah, thank God. I'm gonna go through a couple of track or a couple of tracks on the album. Oh, wicked, so, cool. Like the audacity, right? Yes. Um, you mentioned the Banksy vest. Yes. What was that moment like? It was like, do you, I, honestly, this is no, this is no like gas, no like. Do you know what it felt like? It felt like the heavens open up here, yeah, and the vest just dropped. Like, as in, just imagine a spotlight and the vest just comes down. That's what it felt like, and it felt like, like it, oh, literally. Yeah. And what's the what's the name of? Uh, is it Lancelot who pulls the sword from the stone, or King Arthur, whoever? Where the sword is, and then he goes, and it's like, Shoo, you are the one. That's what it felt like, because it was like, what the hell does Banksy want to do? What? I just got a message. Okay. I swear to you, like that's why I, I swear to God, it, that's why it feels like the, the heavens. So I just got a message saying, I've made this for you. And there was, I was, there was no conversation about it. There was no like, we didn't reach out to him. We didn't like. There was nothing. There was no. There was. It, it, I just got a message saying, "Yo, like, Whoa. I've made you this." Like, and I was like, "Because I was in the crowd." Oh, was you there? I was there. Oh wow! I was there. Flew over from Ireland. Oh, wicked. It was my big thing to see you. Six, six, headlining. Six. And I've heard recently that you were really upset after oh. the gig. Like you were crying for an Bottom hour. Like, is that either. true? That is facts. I was, so do you know what it is on stage? So long story short, <laughs> I had um, my in-ears blue and I had no sound. So I was just like, I couldn't hear nothing. I was just God. like muscle memory, like couldn't hear nothing. So even uh, the, the best way to explain, it, there's a part in it, if anyone remembers or if anyone can watch it again, there's a part in it when they, I brought out Dave and Fredo yep. for Funky Friday. And Dave's saying to me, Dave's like, I love you, bro. I love you. Like, yeah. he's, he's, he's saying really kind words. He's like, I love you, bro. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm just looking at him like, but I can't, I couldn't hear nothing. Couldn't hear wow. a word. Couldn't hear him. Couldn't hear my DJ. Couldn't hear the music. Couldn't hear my, couldn't hear nothing. So like an hour of that performance, I was just in no man's land, just muscle memory. And then came off stage and just thought I'd absolutely ruined did it. Did you like, really cry? I was but um, I was but the way I was, I can laugh at it now, like, yeah. and I can talk about it now. But at the time, like, I was, it was a proper like, as in, it was like a, it was a proper like, Tears. like as in, like hysterics. Like, yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I don't I, listen. Listen, leave your tears there. Do yeah, you know why? Yeah. Because the next day, yes, I was still crying. Oh, is I have it? a video to show you. Oh, is it? Right, I'm in the campsite talking okay. about your performance, and he's like, okay. and I am bawling. Oh, crying that's that you, my man. boyfriend videoed me, and it's the most <laughs> my cred is out the window. <laughs> so see. I was crying the next day. Oh, Do you want to see this? Wicked. Yeah, please. Now, please excuse the absolute state of okay, me. Okay, no. But this is it. Like it was a historical moment. Oh, it was so Actually, stop slagging me. Oh. oh. Like it was. 
we brought his mates and all. It was lovely. <laughs> Do you think his message touched the people? It touched me anyway. I've been bawling four times. I just felt it was like just a, a moment that we were there. Are you recording? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> wicked. <laughs> yeah, you got to give you up for that. Thank you, man. That's beautiful, man. Thank you, man. So I'm I was so crying happy. the next day. That's beautiful, I was, man. I was still on crying the next I'm, day. I'm, I'm super, I'm, I'm happy that it, like, because a lot of people were saying it made them feel deep. Do you know what I yeah. mean? And obviously, music's one of the things that a lot of the time, like, do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't have got to have seen that. Like, and it's so, I've heard people say, oh, like, it made them. But to actually see that, thank you. Yeah, that means yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's And it. I was actually crying probably about 20 minutes before that. And he was like, I have to get the camera out. Six, this six, is that's gold, jokes, man. That's know? beautiful, man. Thank um, you. How dare you not put Jay-Z on a track? And he was giving you all the advice at the start of the glass performance of how to kill it, yeah, how to yeah, do everything. Yeah, then yeah, you're like, yeah. listen, take back to London. You're not going on it. You're yeah, not yeah. No, it. do you know what? To be fair, look at like, that was, it's like he knew. Mm. He knew, like, because he stopped the music. He said, like, he said, yo, like, what, 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 what are we doing here? Like, he, he, it's like he knew, like, it's like, do you know what it's like? It's like we had that conversation and it was, the, I, I keep on saying, it was the most incredible, powerful, beautiful moment of my life. Like, as in, undisputed, like, as in, the conversation was everything you could ever ask for. And it was like, we had that convo and it was like, like, things meant things were even more important things meant things were even more sentimental and deep yeah. and it's like he thought okay cool so what are we doing here then like if this is what things really mean and that like, we've had all this discussion like what are we doing here and he, he was like what do you think and i was like nah man and i was like nah i don't think i don't think this is it like and i just that's a long story short but i just had verbal diarrhea i was just like oh bro because it, it's jay-z it's jay-z and, and, and he's a oh, hero of yours isn't he that's my and my whole thing was like I couldn't just kind of say, oh, like, yeah, blah, blah, I don't think so. I was like, I need you to know Jay, like, how much I respect and admire you and that I'm not just wasting everyone's time and just, like, saying no for no, but just, like, but I don't, like, he he knew, he knew, that's why he asked me. So, yeah, man, it was, um, the, yeah. As in, I, it, it wasn't, it, it, it's so jokes because when it happened, everyone was like, ah, oh, Stormzy turns down Jay-Z verse, but I've, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't as, um, it wasn't as straightforward as that. It was more yeah. like a beautiful, like, kind of, like, Creative Un process. Yeah, 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 and understanding that, understand like, right, this it. means a bit more, man. We got a, like, you're, you are Jay Z. You are my number. That is like, there's no one on planet. There's no, there's no one on earth I rate more than Jay Z. Right. Apart from my mum. Yeah. My mum. Hang on. Yeah. Abigail's not on the album, Stormzy. I know. Why not the little blessings and gang signs and prayers? You know she's not going to be happy. The fame's getting to her head. You I know. know. She's not. Why well, she doesn't even go economy exactly. anymore? Exactly. That she, true? Like, you see what I, I mean? Now? She's talking about she don't fly. I said, you know, mum, you might have to. Nah, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta humble yourself, man. Does she know that she's not on this album? No, nah, she knows, she knows, she knows. But she's, to be fair, I think she thinks whatever. Like, I've got, I've, I've got all the flipping shine I needed. Like, she's a very. I got all mom, my platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a G man. I love my she, mom. She is. Speaking of your mom, there's a song called One Seconds, and yeah. you mentioned your mom in it that she, she encourages you to use your platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe as um, a sort of a, a gratitude thing or to give something back. Yeah. With all the accolades that are kind of being bestowed upon you right yeah. now, but I also hear in that song that. You find difficulty with that as well. Yeah, like, you yeah, know, you, you, you do go out and say things about Grenfell or ever on stage, but then you're like, I'm not a poster boy either, yeah, so yeah, put it yeah, all on yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, do I, you struggle with that? Yeah, yeah. I think, especially like, and it's, it's so, because since I've written that song, it's like, since I've written that song, I've gone on a journey and made music and that, this whole album, and it's like, I've come to peace with the fact that, like, it's like, I, I for a long time, I used to find it very, like, a bit like, is it? Oh, I, I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. But it's more like, f for example, me going on stage and talking about Grenfell at the Brits, or me saying, "Ah, oh, dude, like, rah, that's an injustice," or me being vocal about something on Twitter. Yeah. And then do, the whole world say, "Ah, oh, like, well done, Storms," and I'm kind of like, "Bruv, whatever, that's easy." Like, do you know what I mean? And but I've learned to not play it down. But I've I've always did feel a bit guilty, like as in, like as in, for example, Grenfell has so many campaigners. There's people who have done way more for Grenfell than I have. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, the, your Carlas and Low Keys, like, because mm -hmm. these two uh, rappers who I who inspire me and I look at, I think, like, Carla and Low Key are flipping legends. And they, 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 they dedicated their whole life to, like, fighting causes and being, like, voices and all of that. And, like, and I feel like, oh, like, and, 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 and away from them, there's, like, loads of people, like, do you know what I mean? Like, your everyday person who, 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 
who dedicate themselves to different causes and like all, all these. And then I feel like, ah, oh, do you know what I mean? So I sometimes I feel like, okay, like I'm, yes, it's all great that I do it, but it's, uh, I yeah, don't. But you're, you're using your platform. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. an Irish poet now, he's dead now, his name is Seamus Heaney, and he had a poem. And one of the lines that always stands out to me, especially when like uh, people who are in the music business mention things that are about politics or yeah. you know the world problems and it was like there's no such thing as innocent bystanding yeah, so yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. use fair enough yeah fair dues do you know what I mean fair dues and even to be fair you're right because as time's got it's like no nah, I can't down like me getting on stage and doing that is a courageous thing like, cause, but for a long time I used to think cause, and, and I guess it's a blessing and a curse because naturally I find it very easy to do that like I find it very super easy like as in People see that as like a brave decision, and it's like in my head that was a very I knew, bro. I need to do this. I'm doing it. You're just saying how you whole, feel. Yeah, wholeheartedly doing it. And yeah. then so sometimes when I get oh like it's like uh, like come on like you can stop clapping, guys. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> but it's like no, I shouldn't be like I shouldn't downplay what I do. Like and I'm coming to terms. It's cool. Like it is courageous. It is good. But for a long time, so that's what one second's about. It's like so I, the lyric is um uh so if I go on stage at Brits to the PM, she's a that, then that's and I I don't want no bloody straps for it. Mummy always said if there's a cause, then you should fight for it. So yeah, I understand, but I don't think that I'm all right with it. Like yeah, cool, I get it. Mm. Yeah, I know I said it, but there's people fighting every day and they don't get the credit. Do you know what I mean? Like as yeah, in there it is. They, they, yeah, like there's people who do this all the time. There's people who have dedicated their whole lives to Grenfell, dedicated their whole lives to homelessness, dedicated their whole lives to the, to, to that. Do you get what I mean? Like so, I might go to I might go do crisis on Christmas and like. Fee- like, like, do you know what I mean? Hand out some food to the homeless on Christmas, and then oh, and it's like, oh, I just, I just took one day out on my flipping like, I've been around the world this year. I've done this, and I took one day out, done that. It's like, but, yeah. but it is good. It is good. I can't just downplay it. I can't. It is good, but I guess it's, it's taken some mental time to get to take to, yeah. to get to terms with. Yeah. Um. There's also a track there, superheroes, and I yeah. kind of feel like that is. And I don't know, this is my interpretation. Yeah. It's kind of a message to the people that you are mm-hmm. uh, encouraging yeah. uh, and supporting, like mm-hmm. the scholarships, uh, the labels 100%. that you have. Like, I actually think of you sometimes and kind of go, like, did you have an amazing five-year plan five years ago? I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a label. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have, I'm going to play Glastonbury. I'm going to headline Glast. Like, you are ticking off all of the boxes. Do, like, do you believe in the universe giving you what you want? Like, how? Yeah, I believe. I, have, have you just been like, this is what it is? Do you have a, do you have a business plan for what you want to do? I, I always have purpose. I always say my, my whole career is God. My whole career is God. Like, I don't even call it the universe. I say that's God. That's that's the big man upstairs who has like literally engineered my whole sh- ship. He's given me purpose. So uh, anytime I'm doing something, I, I know what I'm doing. Like I'm, so, like it's not that I've had a five-year plan of doing that. It's just I've just known carry on, do this. Like whenever an opportunity comes into my um, remit, I know what to take. I know how to. I know what to do. I know like I know how to how to progress. I just know exactly what I'm doing, and that's just God. That's just always been God. Like I've just always been led by God. I just kind of follow whatever God's saying so but I've had purpose that's I always say my biggest blessing is purpose whenever I whenever I'm doing something I know what I'm doing yeah when I'm doing Glasto, it's very clear that this needs to be like this this needs to sound like this needs to needs to look like this if I'm going on stage at the Brits it's like yep rain I can know what I'm doing I'm very sure like if if you if you ever like saw me a couple of weeks before any of those things I would I would have told you exactly how it's going down I wouldn't have told you oh the Brits before that, I would have yeah. told you, no, listen, boom, top off, rain, boom, we're going to, no, 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 like, I'm, I'm at that moment. So like, you know your vision. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know my vision and it's purpose. It's always, I say it's God, man. I thank God always. Um, When you were talking in your track sometimes and you're like, you know, um, kind of like dissing other people, not dissing other people, but kind of like, yeah. you know, talking about your enemies. Yeah, like, yeah, who, yeah. Who, who, who is Stormzy's enemies? Like, I'm yeah, like, oh, what, who you'll is Stormzy's enemies? You'd be like, surprised, like, you know. <laughs> you'd be so, surprised. So, do you know, I think that comes from, as MCs and rappers, yeah. there's a competitiveness. Suppose, yeah. It's just, it's what we, it's how we come, in, I personally, and a lot of, of MCs, come in the game and, especially with Graham and like the culture of Graham, it's about getting on the mic and when you get that mic, be the best. Mm. Be the. I'm. Everyone's trying to be the best MC in the room, the best Brit in the room, the best rapper in the room. And 
everyone talks their own truth and says why they think they're so sick and why they no 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 mm. and I just always say okay I'm sick because of this yeah. and and I'm the top boy because of this and oh you think you're the top boy because of that one nah bruv <laughs> how about that do you know what I mean I <laughs> check that like just take this hold this hold this hold that like do you know what I mean it's 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 that competitive nature and yeah. it's about being the best that's why I, I, I love music like I'm so dedicated to music and art that that like for the past five years making bodies of work like it's like I, I get so wrapped up in the in the music and the art form and I always remember that the one thing I can never lose is that MC that rapper the spitter the person who wants to grab the mic and just be the best forget about that beautiful chord and that string arrangement and that flipping interlude just put on a beat 140 BPM 90 BPM whatever it is rap gram and I need, I need to be the best like, do you know what I mean? That's the, yeah, so, so that comes out. Is Wiley Flow, here we go now, right? Hundred percent. A diss or respect? Oh, super what respect. Is it? Okay, cool. Nothing, but yeah. nothing. Even before I dropped it, I, I messaged, because at the time I clocked, okay, shit. Some people might, like, you know, people, oh, what's what's that like? And at the time there was a few, oh, what is that? Mm. And I said, bruv, Wiley Flow is nothing but respect and homage for nothing but, like, as in, that is like me saying, to be fair, like, for me, that was like me saying, yo, that is, that's, I'm I'm Stormzy today and people think, yeah, no, no, no. I was like, yeah, 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 fun all of that. That's the OG. What, like, that is the, like, as in Wiley flow, like, as in, like, th that's the OG, like, as in, yeah. like, that's the total homage, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so total homage to Wiley. I guess for other people, other MCs and, like, because I'm talking a lot of, I'm talking a lot of uh, ish on it, like, I think, mm. yeah, like for a lot of people, it's like, because you can't do 10K first week. Yeah, 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 I love that if you line. ain't got, yeah, yeah all of that. that. So, yeah, for other people, I guess it's a bit of like a, ooh, like, shh. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> what was that? So, um, but yeah, for Wiley, nah, nah, straight, straight homage, straight, cool. straight respect. Ooh, like, I love that, man. Like, that's like, I love him. The Godfather. Yeah, yeah, that's the God. That's, that's yeah. close to my heart, yeah. Uh, Lessons is a song that's on this as well. Are you nervous about this one? Um... <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, because oh, because it's like it's a very, it's a very um very personal, it's a very it's a very like deep like it's not it's not like it's not mute that's not mute that's not entertainment. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like as much as as much as it's going on an album um, of of music that of course is going to serve a purpose to 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 an audience, it's not like it's not like it's not a joke. It's not like. Mm. It's very serious. Like it's it's it. That's the that, that's that that has the most serious moment. Are you scared? No, no. I think naturally, naturally, like it's like whoa. Okay, you're about to put something in the world that, of course, people. Do you know what? Do you know what the scary thing is? People take and will interpret and make decisions and create stories around mm. whatever to whatever they and i'm not gonna have the chance to explain to every single person yeah. that yo this is what i mean by this and this is do you know what i mean so that's that's the scary thing about letting art go you can be so personal with your art and then you let it go and then people take it and interpret how it, how it wants but that's why I, on the record i try to be very clear cut like with my with like each line line by line i try to be clear cut in terms of this is this this is how i feel this is what I'm saying. This is how I feel. This is how sorry I am. This is how much uh, accountability I'm taking. Like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think naturally that's the scary thing. It's like it's a serious. It's not. That's 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 like a personal um, between two people. That's a personal actual reality. Yeah. That is now that I've now shared with the world. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that that's the scary bit. But in terms of the art, like. It's a beautiful piece of music Yeah, yeah, as well. yeah. Thank you very much. But it's like, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, it's yeah, scary. I've got, I've got, yeah, it is. I've got, Being I've got to stay. Being vulnerable is scary. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, I've, and, I've, and I've always said, I always say, my music's about truth and about honesty and like being firm in that. So as much as I'm going to do one second and do better and uh, widely flowing, no, no, no. It's like, yeah, like there's a, there's a, there's a whole side of my truth, especially with the way the year's gone and the past couple of years, it's like, okay, you like if 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 I'm gonna be an artist who always says, "Oh, my albums are a representation of myself and my truth." At the time, it's like, yeah, that 
I can't shy away. I can't, I can't, I have to, like, I, I have to as a as cool. an artist, yeah, man. I just said one more last question outside. There's a big stack of chairs. Yeah. And I was my bag out there. And you know what it reminded me of? What? It reminded of me of your last time your last kind of like rule that you broke in college when you put a stack of chairs on Oh outside. my gosh. And I'm just like, because I remember watching the Jonathan Ross show. That like, was, listen. And like, there's about 15 chairs outside. And I was listen, like, was it that many chairs? That, do you know what? No, to be fair, I remember it was one. To, yo, sick to remember that, though. <laughs> that was like, that was like a pro. Even look, how did I get ex- kicked out of you school got, for that? So if you don't know, Stormzy got kicked out of school for putting 15 chairs on a fella. Just put out. Yeah, no, do you know, it was a girl. It was a girl? Yeah, oh, but she, she was my mate. She was my mate, <laughs> as in we used to like, we like, just a bit of uh, boisterous banter, like. But she was my mate, like, like my mate at the time, and um, I just put chairs on her. Like we was just like <laughs> we was just having a little bit of a play fight, and she was on the floor, and it was like, ha ha ha. And I was just I was just stacking chairs, like you know, like the four legged chairs, like. Yeah. So like putting one on her leg, and then one there, and then one <laughs> like there, and just trapping her in with the chairs. Next thing you know, I'm on riding my bike back home, never to fucking return to education again. <laughs> but yeah. And look at you now. Out. There look we go. Now. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so you're making people cry in a field after Glastonbury. There Do you know go. what I mean? That's, That's it. Stormzy, it's Thank been a pleasure. You very much, Thank man. you so wicked. much. Thank yeah, you very album much, is fantastic. Thank heavy you. as the head. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a brilliant, brilliant piece of work. It's Thank so wholesome, so well done. Thank you Cheers. very much. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. Man. Thank that you. That was wicked.